Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday morning and uh, the, the big thing we wanna try to do today, really this weekend, but mostly today, is get the garden started for spring. Do some in-ground planting, do some seed starting. Steven actually is even gonna set up an irrigation system in the garden, which the past two years of gardening, I've just, you know, watered it myself with the hose every morning. And I had a lot of fun with that, but to make sure that our, our garden has the best chance of staying alive when we're, you know, in the thick of things with a newborn, um, I agreed that irrigation system is the best way to go. So Steven's dad is actually gonna come over this morning and help Steven get that all set up. Grace and I are gonna go to a local nursery and get all of our seeds. We've got it all planned out already. Here's the plan. Here's our, our, our little map. For the first time this year, Grace was like really involved in the planning. We looked at pictures of like everything that's, you know, gonna grow well in our region. Talked about which ones are our favorite to eat. So she's very excited about the cantaloupe. Hopefully that works out well and uh, the carrots and also the tomatoes, but our tomatoes have always done well. So that one I'm less nervous about, um, but I'm excited. I love to garden. I, I love being outside and doing all the little gardening chores and getting to enjoy the harvest and just everything. Um, but my garden did fully die last year, like not even fully at the end of the harvest, like kind of late summer, early fall, because when I got pregnant, I just was feeling really crappy early on and the garden totally fell to the wayside. So I was kind of disappointed in myself about that. And I feel like now getting it started again is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to get back into it. All right, we're gonna have some breakfast and then uh, we are off to the nursery. Yes, those are marigolds. We can do those ones. Good eye. Now let's pick some sunflowers, but I wanna do ones that are a little smaller than what we did last year. Those ones are called a chocolate cherry. Those are called songbird sunflowers. Let me see how tall they grow. What do you think about these ones? These are like, they're called junior sunflowers, so they'll be a little smaller. I want like pink. You want the pink punch radishes? Sure, that's fine with me. Next, we need carrots. We need to decide what kind of carrots we want. Ooh, those actually aren't carrots. Those are peppers. They look kind of the same. Do you think we should do rainbow carrots or all orange carrots? Uh-oh. Okay, we'll do the orange ones. We're getting our seeds. We need tomatoes. We do need tomatoes. Let's do these ones. You wanna grab one of those? Why? Those are cherry tomatoes. Just one. Here's the milkweed. You wanna grab that one? This one right here, the narrow leaf. That's native to our area. There's the cantaloupe. Grace's favorite. Onions I'm really excited about because we've never grown these, but I eat a lot of onion. I use it in like everything. So in theory, this will be great. Found the jalapeno peppers. Okay, let's check the list and make sure. I think that's everything. Do you want to pick one thing of flowers, just whatever flowers you like the best? You are so welcome. You want these ones that are all pink? These are beautiful. Great choice. We did good, Grace. It's over there. Yeah, that's the checkout. Grabbed some of the uh, little seed starting trays. And now we are good to go. Good job carrying that, Grace. All right. Thank you so much. Nicely done. This is so fun. Grandpa's at home with daddy. They're getting the irrigation system set up. All righty. It is freaking cold out here this morning. I think I saw it was like 45. Like what in the freaking San Diego is this? Today is the gardening day. I did talk with Sierra and I was like, hey, if we do this again this year, we should irrigate it. Like we should make sure these things have water. So actually my dad just came over. He's gonna kind of help me figure that out. I've never done like my own irrigation before. Cause like we have sprinklers in this bed up here. Try to figure out a good way to do like a drip system in these by a timer of sorts. So I don't have to think about it. And yeah, we should be good to go. Let's go Saturday morning chores. Also, I kind of had this out as an experiment. This is how much it rained in sweet, sweet San Diego in the last like three days. That's like a solid couple inches of rain. It was so abnormally rainy here. Anyways, I just had to share. All right, let's go. All right, we are back home. Steven and his dad have been hard at work over here trying to fix some drainage issues. So Grace and I are gonna do our seed starting right now for the things that we're gonna be starting indoors. And then either later today or tomorrow, whenever the garden is ready for in-ground planting, uh, we'll do the rest of the stuff. So you wanna do some planting now? Let's do it. 
So the peppers, the lavender, the cantaloupe, milkweed, and cherry tomatoes are all gonna be seed started indoors. These are things that are a little bit more temperamental and just transplant really well. So we can get them a good head start inside. And then our sunflowers, radishes, carrots, marigolds, these pink flowers that Grace picked that I need to learn how to pronounce, and the onions we're gonna sow directly in the ground. You got your chair? Good job. And we can sit right here and start our seeds. The hammer. Steven is loading up the seed trays for us. Thank you. I'm wearing gloves, but still with pregnancy, we're just trying to be cautious about me touching the fertilized soil. So Steven is filling them up for us. You wanna start with the lavender? Yeah. Sure. Can you with your finger just pick up one teeny tiny seed? Just one. Very nice. Good. Yep. Perfect. Very good. I'm doing some seed starting for some family and friends too. So I have a list in my phone of how many seedlings I need for each plant for our garden and then for everyone else that we're growing for and also some extras in case they don't all take. We need four more lavender. them from her now she's getting her shopping cart so we could play nursery now am i buying from you or are you buying from me hello, hello. did you find everything you were looking for you know some mittens oh you're looking for some mittens some gardening gloves um that might be back in aisle 12. it's aisle 12. Uh, aisle 12 you're gonna go down this way take a right and uh it'll be right through those doors bella's having the time of her life laying down in the sun grace is rubbing her tummy all right, that is the last of the seeds starting. Once I get these guys covered up. Now in years past, I've named all of the seedlings. We're still gonna name them this year. I'm just gonna wait until we're deciding which ones to keep and transfer. And then uh, Gr Grace will get to help me come up with some uh, good names for all our little plant babies. Here they all are. All the seeds starting done and it's not even noon yet. All right, let's water these. Now I'm gonna go join Grace and play with her over there for a little bit. She's done such a great job of keeping herself busy and playing independently once she got over the gardening. Um, and then we'll make lunch and then it'll be nap time. Can I play with you with your mermaid toys? Oh, thank you. All right, lunchtime, and I just got Grace set up with a PB&J and some apple slices, a thing of cheese for her lunch, and I made myself one of my delicious Factor meals, and Factor is sponsoring today's vlog. And thank freaking goodness for Factor. Mmm because I'm hungry, I'm a little tired from the gardening. I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna wait for anything. I just wanna eat. And Factor's meals are ready in two minutes so you can fuel up fast. Whenever you're ready, you can enjoy one of Factor's restaurant quality meals. You just heat it and eat it. And Factor takes care of everything else. So Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, ready to eat meals right to your doorstep. They're dietitian approved and Factor has a team of gourmet chefs who create each meal using only ingredients with with integrity. I love having Factor on hand, so I always have the option for a just quick, no prep, no mess meal. I don't have to worry about anything, and the meals taste amazing. The three bean vegan chili that I'm having today is unbelievable. I had this one in a box a few months ago and it was one of my all time favorites. It's got like quinoa, beans, veggies, this cornbread casserole and a delicious tofu based crema sauce. And when I saw it was coming back on the menu for this week, I was like, oh my gosh, add, 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 add. I want this right now. <laughs> so good. I had it for lunch yesterday too. And I low key wish I got a third one so I could have it again tomorrow. But Factor has so many great options. I'm also really excited to try the cauliflower tiki masala that I have waiting for me. Factor also has snacks, smoothies, breakfast, tons of easy options for the entire day. I added some protein shakes to my box this week and they are amazing. So good and filling and the perfect grab and go option. I will absolutely be getting these again. So if you want to check out Factor, give them a try. I do have a discount code for you guys. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Sierra50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free 
free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors on every order while you are an active subscriber. That's factor75.com and code Sierra50. Thank you, Factor. I'm gonna go absolutely devour the rest of this three bean chili and I'll see you after. All right, we are winding down a little bit post lunchtime. <laughs> Yes, you're gonna wear your mask today when we go visit baby Logan. After nap time, which is gonna be pretty soon here, we're going over to my brother's house and it's gonna be Grace's first time meeting her cousin, their baby. Um, so we've been talking with her, you know, the past couple days about hygiene with the baby and wearing our masks and all that stuff. So that's what uh, she was asking about. But yeah, before that, it'll be nap time pretty soon here. And I'm hoping that during Grace's nap, I can finish the book that I've been reading, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I'm 82% of the way through. So if not during nap time, definitely tonight after she goes to bed. Um, but I've really enjoyed this book. It's like a really light, fun romance novel. And Emily Henry just writes tension and dialogue and like banter so well. She's really fun to read. And I read another one of her books last month. I read Happy Place and I felt very similarly about that. She's just like fun to read. And before this, I read um, The Handmaid's Tale and then the sequel to that, The Testaments, which was a lot, like it's very heavy. It's about religious extremism and the oppression of women. And it, you know, if you've read it or if you've seen the show based on it, you know that also deals heavily with pregnancy, which made it an especially emotional read for me in my current state. Um, and I thought those were great books, like really, really fantastic, important to read, but definitely heavy. So going from that to something like book lovers, definitely a, a tone shift, but I've really been enjoying this. Also, I think the last time I talked about reading on the vlog, I had mentioned that I was going to read Stephen King's 11, 22, 63. And that was the first book I read this month in February. And it was great. I was super invested. It's like a really long book, but it didn't feel that long because there's like the main plot point, the main thing they're going after, which I guess isn't a spoiler because it's like literally on the cover of the book, but the main character is trying to go back in time to stop the JFK assassination. Like that on its own hooked me, but Stephen King's writing and like all the twists and turns and detours that the book took getting to that point had me really invested too. So I didn't feel like, oh my God, let's just get to the point already. Great book. Um, I also read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Wait, no, that was the first book that I read this month. Um, and that was one of my favorite recent reads. It's one of two books that I've given five stars this year, along with The Nightingale. I just absolutely adored that book. Um, and I've been keeping track of everything that I've been reading because at the end of the year, I wanna do a video where I rank every single book that I read this year. So I've been ranking everything as I go. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, number two currently. 11, 22, 63. I think I put it like number four or five, really high up. Um, so even though I'm not like talking about every book that I'm reading on the vlog, I will at the end of the year do a full ranking and review video of everything that I've read. So if I mention I'm reading a book and then don't give a follow up in another vlog, eventually at the end of the year, I'll share my thoughts on literally everything. <laughs> it's not that late, I promise. I am outside, it's pitch black, can you tell? It is like 6.30 o'clock. I was supposed to be updating more often, but there was just bad news after bad news for about five hours that I just forgot. <laughs> the two main things we wanted to tackle today, one was like, there's like tons of drains around the backyard and none of them are really draining. So I was like, oh, let's, uh, let's try to play with that. It sounds like it may be like a crushed pipe somewhere. So that's fine. We don't need drains. <laughs> but then the other thing was the, the sweet irrigation that Zero was so excited for. We made some progress. And then I think there was just one pipe and we're like, we hope this is the right pipe. We're, we were trying to cut into a, one of the pipes that feeds the pool water. Cause then we were, we were gonna tap that, create a little spigot down by the garden beds and use that for the water. And then like, based on that assumption, we also did something back by the pool equipment that we have to kind of play with. I think we went a couple steps backwards, not forward, but that's fine. <laughs> I love doing this stuff with my dad. And honestly, part of me is happy that we, we make mistakes or like that it draws out to be really long because it's just kind of fun quality time. So I'm gonna go get my dad some dinner as an appreciation for sticking with me all day. There will be irrigation for this sweet, sweet garden. I'm sure Sarah's like, I told you I could just use the hose. <laughs> but it was a good day. Anyways, catch you guys later.
Grace and I just got home from my brother's house. We're giving the dog some love. She does love you. Oh. We're gonna play some Barbies before uh, I make dinner. I need to get started on that soon though because it is like a little past six, but we just had the best time at my brother's house. It was so special. Grace did an amazing job with the baby and she even got to hold him. She even sang to him and read him books. It just couldn't have gone better. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Steven just got home from dinner with his dad. We're having a dance party. <laughs> so on the counter over here, we have our new seedlings, all safe and nestled inside from the cold and two packages that got delivered today that I wanna unbox with you guys. It's like eight o'clock now. So Steven is getting Grace's bath and bedtime routine started. Figured I'd open these up real quick before I get comfy and settled in bed and break out the Kindle. I think it's gonna be uh, an early bedtime tonight for all of us. But uh, honestly, I just did not wanna wait any longer to open up these packages, especially this one. Cause I have been waiting so long for these. You ready for this? Oh, oh wait, nope, they're still wrapped up. Hold on, hold please. I'm so excited. I bought the Tasman Uggs. I am just so excited to wear these all the time. I had been eyeing them for a while. And then what really sold me on them was when we did the Hated Trends video at the end of the year and Jaden styled these. And I was like, you know what? I don't care if people say they look like horse hooves. I want them. And I think I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of them. Already I've had so many like comfy casual outfits that I'm like, I wish my Tasman Uggs were here because they would be perfect with this. And now they're here. They've been back ordered for a while. I actually ordered these like the day after Christmas because I was gifted two Kindles for Christmas. Steven got me one and then my brother and sister-in-law got me one as well. So I returned one of the Kindles and I was like, you know what's about the same price? The Uggs. They're like my ideal pair of slippers, but a little bit nicer looking so I can get away with wearing them in public. Here they are. Oh, I really really like these, I'm excited. Big fan, I'm, I'm loving these already. And I am and always have been an UGG girl through and through. And I feel like I, I waited enough time to buy these that like I really thought it through and it's not just for like the passing trend. It wasn't an impulse buy. So I am, can I get them up there? Thrilled, thrilled with my horse hooves. Okay, and then second thing I got, this was kind of an impulse buy, but Hollister has the cutest pajama sets right now. So I ordered this adorable little blue floral set and it's made from like a really soft, stretchy ribbed material. And it just looked so cute and comfy online. And like, hopefully with the stretchiness, something that I can enjoy now, but mainly for postpartum. So these are the little shorts. It's kind of like a little boxer brief cut. And then it's a tank top on top. This is so cute. It also has buttons in the front and I figured just with this material and the cut, it'll be super easy just to like pull down for breastfeeding access. And the material feels amazing in person, like even better than I hoped. So I'm gonna go try this on and possibly wear this tonight. Okay, for internet purposes, I'm gonna keep my hand here, but I love this pajama set. It is so cute. I love the fit, I love the print. It's so, so comfortable. Big fan of this one. I think this is something I'm gonna be reaching for a lot. It's just so cute. All right, I just lit a candle, got all cozied up in bed here with the dogs, and I I'm ready to start a new book. I finished Book Lovers during Grace's Nap. So next I'm gonna be reading Kindred by Octavia Butler. I've heard great things and it's historical fiction, which is probably my favorite genre, at least recently. So yeah, I'm gonna get started with this. And this is usually probably where I would end the vlog, but Steven said he wants to continue the uh, garden irrigation saga tomorrow. So take it away, Steven. <laughs> Alrighty, there's the family. Good morning. Love you guys. Having fun, Grace? The last part of this equation is making sure that the pipe we think is the line from the water for the sprinklers in the pool is the line we're looking at. And in my opinion, because I don't know what I'm doing, this seems like the best way of hearing water run through a pipe. My daughter's play stethoscope. That does actually work. We're going to put it on the tube, turn on water, and see if we hear water rushing through.
All right, so what I'm trying to do right now is give us more room to play with down here. The pipe we want is this guy right here. The problem is, he is very close to his buddy, Mr. Electrical. These other pool lines are lines we do not want to disturb, so trying to be careful. We think this is our line. I dug over here so that we can have more room and kind of bend the pipes as needed, or try to. I'll just see where we go. All right, update. We confirmed that the new line we found this morning is indeed the line we're looking for. So we did our little experiment, opening and closing the valve real quick to see if water came out. We uh, we drilled straight through it. The stethoscope was useless, as expected. So we did the next uh, <laughs> most logical thing and just drilled a hole into it to make sure. So this is the pool line that we're trying to interfere with. So this is just water from the city. I have a valve over by the pool equipment I turn and this comes out. And so now I have my highly sophisticated toy plugging the hole and down here, that white pipe feeds that. You can see our little screw way down there. So anyways, we're gonna cut that, get a little faucet up here, and then we can finally do the easy part and irrigate the beds. What we spent all day yesterday trying to do, and now we did it in the first hour of today. Victory. All right, it is getting sunny out here. Also, I'm laughing that I wore a Star Wars shirt two days in a row. It was like my PJs, weekend PJ days. So we're making really good progress. Everything is looking good. I think next we gotta kinda slowly test and then clean up. And then we can actually do the, the soil bed irrigation. So I think we're looking pretty good here. So this guy, we got some paint drying, but that's our little, all that work to get down there in the pipe, bend it up, we have a spigot. And then on the back, I have my little lever that I can add water to the pool with. So here is how I'll add water to the pool, my little, my little black thing. The spigot will be connected to our smart water meter. And we'll get that black hose, run it back here. All the beds can have their own water. We should be good. I thought I'd take a little break and get you guys caught up. It's about 3.30 now. My dad left about half an hour ago. I am very appreciative of his help. We're done with like all the, the PVC plumbing. So I'm about halfway done with the like core piping. And then I'll probably end there. And then once Sierra plants everything, we can go in and go through and kind of poke holes into it and feed in the smaller tubing to water the individual plants. So my dad wasn't happy with how silly it looks. He wanted to kind of go up against the wall here or there. Um, but just the footing of the wall was kind of, I don't know, I didn't want to mess around with it. And given like how important this line is and the pipes below it, I just wanted to do the simplest thing possible. So have this here, piece of wood here and some concrete down there to kind of hold it so that this isn't too bobbly, breaking any pipes below. I don't know, we could put a chair over this buy a fake rock, we'll do something. I'm not worried. And I think in general, the plan is, instead of just being dirt, let's get some mulch going, maybe some like pavers that we could walk on. It should be nice. I wanna kinda grow this thing up a little bit. Well, that's where we are. The craziness is done. And I'll we'll clean this up, and then Sierra can get back here and uh, do what she does in plants. And I'll just make sure these guys get watered. I'm glad we finished it. It took about probably eight hours longer than we thought. Thanks for watching us figure the shenanigans out. Let's see if Sierra can do another crazy garden like she did last time, so. Bye. All right, it is 5.30 p.m. Sunday evening, and I just finished all of the in-ground planting. All the seeds that are going direct sow have been sown. The onions and carrots and radishes and flowers, it's all done. So, very exciting. Didn't know if that was gonna happen today, but Steven finished up out here like an hour ago. And I was like, you know what? Let's see Let's see how much I can do. And it's, uh, it's a little dim out here now, but I am finished. So, great way to wrap up the weekend and uh, wrap up the vlog. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye!